Hello everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's recipe is a traditional Sunday dinner dish. Greek chicken and pasta. Pasticada. Tender chicken braised in a rich tomato sauce with warming spices and served over a bed of pasta. A dish that will bring everyone to the table. So let's begin to make a traditional dish from Corfu. I don't know how many people have been to Corfu, but plenty of tourists going to this island. This is the traditional food of uh, this area, this island. Now, to make this recipe, we have to make sure that we will marinate our chicken. I have a whole chicken here, and first I, I need to portion it. So I will cut the legs here. And of course, we are the most organized cooking channel worldwide, so we have a video how to portion a chicken at home. Now, I will cut in half this way and then in half. Perfect. I need a big bowl and I will start adding my chicken in. We want the carcasses because all the flavor from the chicken is over here. As you can see, I'm cutting in half and again in half. And this is it. The hard job just done. And if you don't want to do this procedure, your butcher can do it for you. I will take off my gloves and it's time to pour the marinade into the bowl. I have some red wine here. We don't want sweet wine. We need the normal, nice, good red wine. I have some spices here, cinnamon and bay leaves. Here I have some cloves and some old spice. These are the spices we want to use for this recipe. I will make sure that my chicken is submerged into the marinade. Now, we need some plastic wrap and let it marinate into the fridge 12 to 24 hours, okay? We need to let it at least overnight because we want the marinade to go through the flesh of the chicken. Now, how I will secure that my chicken is submerged into the sauce? With a plastic wrap, take the plastic wrap, and make sure that the plastic wrap touches the surface of the chicken. This way, you will ensure that the chicken is in the marinade. Otherwise, you have to stir the chicken with the marinade every three to four hours. Now, we don't have to do that. This goes into the fridge. And I have prepared another one for you guys. And look at this. This is the color of the wine after 24 hours and the color of the chicken after 24 hours. As you can see, everything is marinated to perfection. Now, I need a pot for my chicken and I need another pot to slow cook my wine. So, strain the chicken and the wine into a colander. Take all those lovely juices and bring that to a boil here. I will turn on my heat, perfection. And here I need again gloves to prepare my chicken. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off the cloves, the old spice and all the spices and put them into the wine because I want to use them again. And all the spices, bay leaf, cinnamons, all spice, and of course the gloves going into the wine. Bram. And I want some flour uh, into the pan. Vaya can help me. Some flour from the back. More, 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 yes. And two pinches of salt, please. Give me some salt. More. Yeah, that's enough. Thank you. And as you can see, I want to make sure that I will make a crust to my chicken. This crust is uh, the way that we will thicken up our sauce later. The excess flour, we don't want it. And the next step is what my friend like is. Yes, we need to make sure that the chicken will sear and golden and sexy and nice. So olive oil in a pot, don't be stingy. We need olive oil. As I boiling my wine here, there is some foam on the top, so we want to take off this foam. This foam is not good for our recipe. You see, Michalis? This is bad 
for yayadas, for grandmothers. No good, okay? Now, and what I want to do, I want to take a nice color to my chicken. So I will put it in this way. And when my chicken is ready, we will carry on with the recipe. In five minutes, the chicken will be ready to carry on the recipe. So the chicken is ready. See this nice crust and this lovely color, oh my God. Can't wait to taste this lovely chicken. And now we are almost done because the things are very easy now. I need a chopping board and I need to use some onions. I will quarter them I cut them into big chunks. Florets, okay? Now, we want a touch of sugar in it because we will add the wine and the amount of wine is too much. So we want to balance the acidity. I have three cloves of garlic that I will chop them into big chunks. They will melt inside the food. And it's time to deglaze the pan. When the onions are ready, oh my God, sexy. I will add some tomato paste, a big spoonful. We are almost done, almost done. Mix it, mix everything. And it's time to deglaze the pan with the red wine. I will add all the wine here. Perfect. We will add some fresh tomato. And if you have a chicken cube, you can add it in because it's a lot of flavor. If you don't have a chicken cube, just add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then the chicken back again into the pot. This is it. Just a little bit of time and voila. Now, cover the pot and slow cook the chicken for about one hour. In one hour, the chicken will be ready and we'll serve it with some pasta and it will be adorable. And the chicken is ready. Look at this amazing, tender, juicy and sexy chicken. And now I'll show you the proper way to serve it. Here I have some bucatini. Actually, all the traditional recipes are made with this kind of pasta. And a layer of cheese. This is a Greek Creer cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you like, but the proper way is this way. And more cheese. And another more layer of bucatini. And more cheese. What do you think about this, Lakis? It's a towel of uh, yumminess. And now the chicken goes on top. Look at this. Stunning. And now it's time for the sauce. The most tasty part of this recipe is all these lovely juices. Look at this. Let them cover the chicken and be the sauce for the pasta. Leave some sauce on the side. And this is it. If this is not a comfort food, which is? And of course, the very end, I want more grated Greek cheese, yummy. Absolutely stunning. Can you see that? It's falling apart. You can see the white pieces of meat. Tender. And so, so, so tasty. You can taste the cinnamon, the cloves, bay leaves, the wine. Everything is in there. It's so amazing. The only thing you need for this recipe is plenty of people to enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, make comments underneath the video and share this lovely recipe with your friends. Till next time, bye bye guys. Yasas, and uh, I hope you tried this recipe. Yeah.